My name is Tony Morris, and I am the character Richie Preston on the TV show Common Rider Dragon Knight. Um, my Common Rider name was Common Rider Incisor, which is the crab. And uh, the character Richie Preston is uh, very spoiled and rich, and uh, always looks at himself as like in the upper class, higher and, and more, and a lot more. Uh, Superior than anybody else. Um, but he turns out his father is taking away his funds. So yes, not good. So he has to find a way to make a living like any other person. So he decides to join the evil common Rider clan. And he's going to defeat the good uh, common Riders for money. For millions of dollars, whatever they're going to offer him. Um, that's my character. Some of the similarities between Richie Preston and Tony Morris. Um, the Richie Preston character, he has a, a stubbornness to him in, in, in a lot of the scenes. And the stubbornness is that I try to bring out of myself comes from... Uh, a, a kind of a quirkiness, a kind of a quirky stubbornness. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's it's a, like a sh it's it's a it's a little like the way he walks, he swaggers. He's, it's not like you know the guys. He's a, he's an oddball. He's not your normal straight you know, straight and narrow guy. He's not you know Rico Suave or anything. He's just this. He checks. He hits on chicks, and when he hits on chicks, he does it in a uh, in in a goofier way. He's quirkier. So, and I have a little bit of quirkiness inside of me, which I bring out in the Richie Preston character. My part is extremely fun to play. And I would say that because, you know, he he gets to put himself, well, I get to put myself in this character who is driving, you know, in a really expensive truck and, you know, gets to have the most exclusive sunglasses and the most, you know, the, the best cell phone. And it's... It, I mean, it's like, you know, the hills, the Laguna Beach. The guy's got everything that's the best. So that's what the fun part about this guy has, and what this guy does. You know, he's got he's got a really nice watch. And, you know, it's, he's like he's bling-blinging it in the, in, the, uh, in, the, in the show, which is, can't beat that. Um, Common Rider is actually the first television show I've ever done. I've never done any te television before. Um, I, I grew up... Uh, doing like improv and skits and comedy and uh i i went to theater school and all that stuff so i've done i've done a lot of plays and stuff like that but i i did i did a movie called the lost and i had a little part i i i've i've, I've been typecasted a lot with the plant the surfer dude or that type of character more than i have i i think in this this part's actually a different type of character which i've, I've never been before which is the rich upscale he's he's you know he's kind of a pritzy guy Opposed to being the laid back sloucher guy. The message that children will get out of the show is the creative imagination and just the, un I mean, it's like that there are, you know, people that, that it's, it's, I mean, it's idealistic to think, okay, maybe there are two different types of worlds, you know, and there's this outside world in Ventara and then there's this world on Earth. And kids there are so much more sophisticated than I was ever when I was at that age. And they're, I mean, way ahead of, you know, they're on computers and internet, everything that they have in this show, you know, that's, kids are going to understand that and they're going to be able to grab onto that. And it just, it's going to open their minds. It's things like that open children's minds so they can become more creative when they do things or just in, and enjoy any type of show or entertainment value for something that has, you know, two different worlds. And that's just, you know, that's, that's different. Not a lot of people have that.